Hello and welcome to BFS Wargaming. So today we are going to do a little tournament review. This time it's not me playing, it is Dan who is part of, well it's my brother and part of the BFS team. And he went to the Manchester Super Major uh, uh, over the weekend, which was the, what was it, the 23rd and 24th. Um, so what we'll do is we'll jump into your list to start off with, Dan. Um, so if you talk us through your list and what you took um, enhancements and whatnot. Well, this concept was a bit different to everyone else's Sky Splinter. I um, didn't want to go down the MSU Incubi lines. I wanted to have a bit more. I like a bit more punch in my um, in my armies rather than the Scary lists. So I uh, I went for Archon with Nightmare Shroud. So you, when you leave a transport, you don't get overwatched. Nice. Um, I had a Beastmaster. I took the Spiteful Raider enhancement, so if you kill something on an objective, you um, get an extra pain token. Um, that's not entirely. I had a spare 10 points, so I put it on. Lilith S. Bratz, because she's just a, an amazing um, character and an absolute beast. I had two Cabalite Warrior units, both fully loaded. Two VAC units, again, both fully loaded. Um, Unit 10, which is fully loaded. Uh, two Raiders, both with Dark Lance. Uh, four Venoms with Splinter Cannons. Uh, a Kronos. Ten Incubi. Two Units of Mandrakes. A Ravager. A Unit of Reavers with Heat Lance. A Cluster of Cow Drops. Um, and three Units of Scourge. One of them with Haywire and two with Dark Lances. Okay, so did you pretty much... Um Obviously, the 10 Incubi and the Archon went in one radar, Lilith Hesprax in the other, which is went in the other radar. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I did have the option. You can't split the 10 Incubi once you... You can only split battle line units, so the 10 Incubi had to go in a radar. Mm -hmm. um, whereas I did have an option to split the witches down if I came across, um, depending on what I got matched with. So I had a bit of play there to change things up. Um, or if I wanted to keep a unit of 10 cab lights together, I could do and put the Archon with them. Um, and get the reroll to wound on the Cabalites, um, where I, if I feel like I didn't need it with the Incubi, say for instance, like the guard matchups, maybe, or yeah, yeah, it just depending on what I was playing, really. Nice. So, obviously, you, you that's where with the Venoms you were playing it with like the Cabalites and the Racks in the Venoms, no, mainly Cabalites. So, uh, in fact, every game I played it with Cabalite split, right? Um, just because of what I went into. So, I had five Cabalites with the Splinter. Um, and then the other five with all the juicy goodies all the in the other one. Yeah, yeah. Um, in the others, just to show little fire boats and little action monkey boats, which came in really handy, actually, the action monkey boats. Yeah. Probably. And then you can sort of um, throw some out on objectives. I mean, like, they single-handedly won me a game and probably tipped the points on another game as well. Mm. Um, so, okay, just gives so, that bit of protection. Yeah, so we sort of... Obviously, well, for people that don't know Drukhari, um, you've got a couple of very hard-hitting units there with Lilith Hesprax and the Witches and the um, Archon and the Incubi. And what I mean by two hard-hitting units, the two hard-hitting melee units, because there's a lot of other hard-hitting units, they just got guns. Yeah. Um, and how did you find the Beast Pack? Beast Pack was amazing, actually, yeah. to be honest. Really enjoyed using it. Um, give me lots of options. Um, I think it's a very well priced unit for how quickly it dies, but it does a job. Yeah. Um, I probably will take the spiteful um, radar um, and change things around a, a, a little bit. But I'll talk about that afterwards. Yeah. Because that only came up once. I've only had two practice games with this list due to my life being very busy. So I took it to the Manchester GT with just two practice games with um, uh, Sky Splinter. I've not. I've played a lot of real space raiders, but I haven't, haven't really played Sky Splinter. Yeah. Um, so if we so jump into the utilizing the beast pack was very good for move blocking, um, for board control, really uh, early board control because they've got the scout move. Yeah. Uh, which I didn't have when I was playing the real space raider. So having that in that list because um, I got that after I stopped playing real space raider and painted them up ready for the Manchester GT. Yeah. Nice. So. Um, the so we'll go into it. So the first game, who were you what were you paired into? 
So first game I had Grey Knights. Uh, I've never played Grey Knights in tenth. Um, we did have a we had a conversation before this game, and uh, I uh, was telling you about what they did. <laughs> yeah, I mean it was the the wording of their uh, bounce away stratagem. Um, yeah, missed. The mist, was, mist of Demos or whatever it's called. Yeah, yeah. Where they can, that, you go within nine and they can teleport. That helped me quite a lot with the um, stratagem I have to get out of a raider after it moves. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, that came in a few times within that within that single battle. He was running a unit of five paladins with uh, Voldus. Yeah, Grandmaster Voldus. Um, and he had um, three uh, librarians, which I thought he was going to put with his three units of Terminators, but he didn't. You had them as single units. You also had a Grandmaster with the um, enhancement that lets him drop down first turn. And he was on his own as well, wasn't he? He was on his own as well, yeah. yeah. Um, he had. Did he have three, three dreadnoughts? Two, two, two dreadnoughts and one grandmaster with dreadnought armor. Yeah. Um, and. Can't think what else he had. Some other little bits. Yeah, not, not so much more, but. Um, having never played him, um, I, sort of, I screened out about as much as I could, but he obviously he was using single units, so like that coming within three was quite easy for him. Yeah. Um, but. He didn't like them and dying. He took, quite. he took behind enemy lines and deployed deploy. Deploy. Yeah. 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 It's and common for Grey Knights to take that because they can do it so easily. Yeah, I mean, the Hay Haywire Scourge excelled in that. They, uh, they, I did a little bit of chip damage to one of the Dread Knights in the first uh, turn and then Haywire and it died with 12 more wounds. Nice. Um, so he lost that side of the ball control quite early on. And obviously he can move stuff around, which he did. He moves some terminators across. He tries to take the centre with the paladins, which he did because I pushed a unit of racks up and 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 the beast pack and let them die. Yeah. Um, and then the incubi just parked the raider just outside uh, nine and then jumped out and had a nice Done easy charge. Moving. And they picked up the whole unit with, with ease. Nice. Um, and everything, he could, I just kept Lilith at the back, really. So everything he dropped in at the back, I did the same thing, moved the Raider up. And he did drop in the um, the three um, librarians all in one corner, all at once. Oh, wow. And he could obviously, at that point, I thought, well, he can only take two of them off the board. So I moved Lilith into the night. He took one off the board. Yeah. And then um, the I, shot, I shot and killed the other one because he had killed some of the witches at that point. Right. And, he'd, and he had taken the Raider out with the more wounds. Yeah, and did I just pick the other one up, and then she picked up um, the one that he took off. He brought down next to some terminators, and, on, and she picked him up as well. Nice. So, what was the score in that game? I just have to have a look. It was, I think, it was ninety-seven seventy-one. I'm just find it on the app. Actually, just stay on your uh, stay on that thing because I've got the. Uh, I do actually have that score. Oh, it was the first one you sent to me. It was ninety seven seventy one. Yeah. Um Oh no, hang on. That's a lie, that's what I sent to you. Uh it was ninety six no ninety seven. Uh no, I didn't you think? didn't send it to me. I lying. It's not my score, it's not the opponents. Anyhow, ninety seven whatever it's so yeah, yeah, I think, I think it was 70, 70, 74. Yeah. So, to be honest, keeping the Grey Knights to a 74 was pretty good as well because they do tend to score very well, Grey Knights. Oh, they, they score far, don't they? Yeah. So, what was your next opponent? Or, uh, game two. Next opponent was Orcs. Um, never played Orcs in 10 people. <laughs> I played a lot of Necrons, but, uh, but so I wasn't really, again, sure what was going to happen I knew he'd come at me yeah he won his first game quite comprehensively yeah um, so I was a bit like well I don't know how this is going to play out did he know how your list worked um, yeah he's quite an experienced player um, and he, he he plays quite a lot so, so he knew quite a lot around it I went through it explained everything explained all my gotcha sort of stratagems and everything and he yeah. did the same um, we had quite a good conversation before before the battle because we both because I hadn't Obviously played Orcs, I wanted to know what they did. Yeah. Um, and it was the 
what was it? The, the corners with a nine-inch bubble in the middle. Yeah, yeah. search and destroy. That was it. Um, so I, I was a bit, <laughs> a bit concerned with him being that close. Yeah, especially and, with the war where he can advance and charge his whole army. Yeah, exactly. So obviously, I was, I sort of staged a little bit further back. But obviously, being able to move a, a, a raid of 14 inches and chuck out unit you know, troops is, it allows me to do that, to, to, to backfield a little bit. Yeah. Um, and I had a lot of anti-infantry in the guns with the um, splinter. So did you just um, plan to sort of like counter charge, counter him? when he? When yeah, he I, I, and then I um, ended up getting first turn and he'd, he'd sort of front tabled all around the 9 inch. Right. Um, so I picked up a battle wagon, uh, a truck... And I quite possibly picked up the other truck with the flash kits in it. Right. And um, didn't kill any of the flash kits. I think I might kill one of the flash kits. And then I, a lot of splinter fire into the troops. Took uh, the character on that big uh, dinosaur-looking thing. What? what was the Modrock. Modrock, yeah. You took oh, him yeah. out? No, I took him down to about two wounds. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, because he's, um, he's a... He's, he's not tank. easy to kill, is he? No, he's a tank. He's got a four up, feel no pain, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Um, and then it, so he pushed my and I, well. I screamed with the beast pack quite nicely as well. They pushed up and screamed. Yeah. Um, so I had a bit of a if I didn't go first, his trucks would have to go into the screen. Yeah, yeah. Um, or, or troops come out of the trucks and go into the screen. So they 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 were there to slow him down, and um, which they did do because uh, he went into the, the beast pack and. Pick the beast back up, bar the beast pack leader, and um, I was left then with uh, a load of troops on the ground. So Lilith went in and uh, did some work. Took did, out, did some murking, murdered. Yeah, to the the um, he did the war on the second turn, but um, he, she still picked up a unit of um, mega knobs we with a uh, war, war boss. Yeah, yeah, and um, the witch did I took took a couple out. Of, of the second unit, because two units of three, or for four, sorry, with a war boss. You need guns to kill Lilith. Yeah, and uh, and then it's just a case of picking up his troops. Like that much anti infantry fire, I mean, it ended up being 96 25, I think it was. That is the score you sent me, 96 25, yeah. Yeah, so, it, so that's a pretty convincing win, and holding someone to a 25 is, is strong, really strong. Especially with all. all Board control, but it's like the list's almost you have that much splinter that you have to take on the venoms, yeah. Um, and it's all too damaged, so it's perfect for picking up orcs, yeah. And all them, he had, a couple, he had a couple of units of knobs, um, I'd say two units of mega knobs, a couple of units of Gretchen, uh, so it was per perfect for picking them up, yeah, yeah. He uh, he actually did this strategy where it went, when I blew up his um, uh truck the flash kits he moved it forward and then it blew up and chucked all the flash kits out yeah, and yeah. then they shot my uh, ravager and killed that and then charged the venom and they're not bad in combat the flash kits and uh i just i saved quite well and uh <laughs> managed to keep it alive nice he decided to wrap it and i thought i was like well i can fly and i thought i might as well live in combat so i left that in combat um shot the other unit from that boat and then uh, charged the incubi into the flash kits. Uh, they picked up the flash kits. He played the stratagem to fight on death. Yeah. Um, picked up most of the incubi apart from one and the archon. Yeah. Which by that point was a bit like, well, that's fine. A bit, bit too late. Yeah. He didn't have yeah. a lot left. So um, moving into the last game on day one, which uh, game three. <laughs> um. <sighs> Last game on day one. It was the Dark Angels, wasn't it? It was the Dark Angels. It was JC Burn. Uh, nice guy. In fact, all my opponents were nice the whole day, actually. Um, mm -hmm. had good, good chat and banner with all of them. <clears throat> um, he was playing Dark Angels. He's a Vanguard Tactics, one of the Vanguard Tactics team. Yeah. Is he um, taking Iron Storm, wasn't he? He was taking Iron Storm. He had the uh, two Redemptors, two Lancers, yeah. um, a unit of Infiltrators. Another unit of infiltrates, a Phobos Lieutenant, uh, a couple of Tet Marines, the Storm Raven gunship, yeah. um, and the minus one land speeder, minus one to hit land speeder, what is it called? Dark Trout. Uh, Azrael, and um, a unit of assault intercessors. Ah, 
So, how did this go? Who got first term? Um, I got first turn. Right. Um, and I couldn't see a lot. Um, I had a few let's get, uh, dark light shots. Um, did do a lot. I sort of staged the uh, um, hell, uh, haywire uh, sh uh, scourge for the yeah. next turn. Um, they're just the negating wounds and <laughs> minus one damage. And I mean, he, he rolled very well um, yeah. through the game. It was quite, I was scoring well. Uh, so his turn, he dumped a redemptor dreadnought out of the storm raven right in the on the middle objective. Um, it is a bit bonkers that you can put a redemptor dreadnought in a storm raven. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. The minus one to hit bubble was awful for me because the scourge hitting on fives. Yeah. Um, unless I stand them still, and if I stand them still, they're, they're dead. dead. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, so I used haywire on the redemptor. Um, mm -hmm. Took ten wounds off it, um, so it's down to three wounds, and then he made six six up saves. Wow! From, da from dark lights is in a row, single one, two, and then on the last. And they one, were six seven, up what because they were getting plunging fire. Yeah, if, well, f no, four four were plunging fire, and yeah. the other two he just rolled sixes anyway. Ah, okay. <laughs> they needed fives for them, um, and then he negated the last one with the uh, tech enhancement tech marine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that it was just bonkers. Uh, yeah. Over over average roll because you know if you if you take that that's uh, I mean, obviously I don't know how the redemptor he did. took the ravager out with that after that. Yeah, exactly. So it's you know you're taking a lot of firepower off the table by killing the redemptor. And yeah, it, and it was the most advanced unit because um, I can then concentrate on getting rid of the storm raven, which the actual incubi yeah. did. In the end, I, I chipped a couple off it, and then the incubi went and mopped it up. Because obviously the storm raven was hovering. Ho so hovering, yeah, it. yeah, yeah. That's uh, interesting. Very interesting. So I think that was a turning point. Them, them six save rolls were probably the turning point of the game. Yeah, and then it sort of started to go downhill, did it? It went downhill, and then it went back uphill, and I started. I scored a late points as well. But, yeah. Um I flung the uh, reavers on a on a. A nine-inch charge to get a tempting target, and a, and to charge his uh, lancer. Nice. Just, so, what, what just, was the score in the end? Um, I think it was something like ninety-one. In fact, hang on one second. Have a look. Um, so it's quite an interesting. Obviously, that minus one. You know, for other people listening, um, if you are coming up against. Drukari, they've almost always got 15 Scourge, so if you have got stuff that's got minus one to hit, then it's probably a pretty good thing to play against them. Um, yeah, 9167 it was. 9167, so not uh, terrible on the points, but kept you down a bit. Did you not have much left by the end of the game? Um, I still had a bit, but it was, he was so advanced with this, the stuff. I think I had uh, a couple of Scourge units left. He took out... The, he dropped the intercessors. Yeah, so he had uh, six interceptors. He dropped in and took out the haywire scourge. He was oh, he had interceptors as well. Yeah, yeah, he, had, he was pretty scared of them. Um, and I took them, picked them back up. So they were a problem. But it was losing the ravager, losing some of my dark lances, and the haywire in that turn really blunted me for taking out the rest of his vehicles. Mm -hmm. um, so what did he have? He was, in fact, he was, he was rolling pretty insanely all together. Really, because I put Lilith into Asriel and and the six um, or five. Uh, salt marines yeah and i did 17 wounds off of lilith and yeah he, he, he popped the four up in one on the troops yeah once per battle um and out of 17 he took three damage wow that's, I was some, like, that's some impressive rolling so that's what I'm like, yeah okay that's fair four, 14 four ups that's pretty good and then he left them in combat and which i was quite surprised about um but they've got the um, desperate breakout if you fall back from which is so he left him in combat and then Villa fights first and picked him up the next and Asriel the next turn yeah so what did he have left at the end of the game he had a Lancer um, a Dreadnought Redemptor and the Infiltrates of the Phobos and a couple of no and a couple of Tet Marines ah, ok so he didn't have a lot left then it was, no, it sounds it, like it was bit. pretty brutal. Yeah, it was a brutal game, but it's just like I say, I just, I just felt like uh, if average rolls, I 
it would be a, might have been a different. I'd have picked up probably a ten point swing on that on that alone because he he had he held the objective with the dreadnought. Yeah, yeah. Um, and things like the you know, it was a primary swing. Yeah, yeah. So that was a loss. So you, were, you at the end of day one, you had two wins, one loss. Um, yeah. So going into day two. You started off oh, Chaos with, Knights with Chaos Knights, and I'm, I'm gathering it was all War Dogs. Yeah, brigands and um, carnivores. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, just the usual. Twelve of them, uh, three units and nerglings. Yeah. Uh, how did that go? Who went first? Do you remember? Um, he did, and did apt move nothing. He moved nothing. He moved absolutely nothing because he was too scared of all your dark lines and haywire. Yeah, he just he said, oh, I don't need to move yet. And I was like, all right, fair enough. So he just shot. Um, a real, real nice guy, actually. We had a real good chat. And was, uh, he was, um, I was like, well, fair enough. Uh, I, I had two angles. Um, in fact, did I go first? Did he I might have Did he shoot his, what are they called? Havocs. Havocs, yeah. Yeah, and then um, that's all he did. And then um, he took out some scourge. And then on the my turn, I shot a lot into two war dogs, killed neither of them. Wow! Um, That's about down start. quite a lot of wounds, um, but I was expecting to pick up both of them really, if not definitely one. Yeah. And uh, then he picked his havocs went off and took pretty much they picked up all my scourge uh, with haywire and four of the scourge in the dark lance unit and two in the other unit. Wow. Three in the other unit. So I'm thinking at this point, oh shit, I've got I'm losing all my I'm losing all my anti tank. Yeah, and uh then I thought I've got to play for points here, so I played strong into the points. Um Dark Lances were getting to him and, and um taking them down and wounds. Because you still and you then, still had a Ravager, you still had a couple of raiders with Dark Lances and stuff, yeah. Didn't you? Yeah, and I did and I did Cavalites. Cavalites did some work and I was doing a lot of chip damage with the um with the Volume of shots with the um, cannons because yeah, it sustained hits. Yeah, the, yeah. You know, sustained hits one. I mean, you're only wounded on sixes, but yeah, yeah. And even the splinter, I was firing into him, and um, you know, I was getting one or two wounds here and there. Yeah. Um, then Lilith and the witches picked up a, um, a carnivore. Um, so did the incubi. Nice. Um, he, then he started to lose. F- he started. To, I had a really good turn. He and, started to lose and momentum. I, and I picked up four mm-hmm. in that turn. And, uh, yeah, that's, and then that's big. And he had two that were injured because he moved the injured ones behind cover so I couldn't shoot him anymore. Yeah. So he could just sit there with his Havocs and use them for board control. Um, so he had two wounded ones, four dead ones. He just table, and I would take, bring it down and deploy. Yeah. So I'd, I'd forwarded, deployed the Mandrake so I could get it straight away on my turn in, in the middle. Mm-hmm. Um, and I did it again with the I was with the Rax and then with the Kronos because I was losing in the middle game. Yeah. Um, and then at turn four and five, I I, I dropped in uh, a Venom at the back with a unit of Cabalites in them and did it in the back. You say you Got dropped me the in. Four point. What did you do? Just roll it up, like moved it? No, no. Dropped him in from from because um, the uh, deep strike vehicles. I dropped him right in the corner on turn three. Oh, in turn three. Sorry. Yeah. Um, so I could get. It ne- for next turn to get deploy, yeah, um, which gave me the extra point, and then the extra point in turn five, and then mm-hmm. I dropped them. The uh, my one remaining, um, no, my two remaining mandrakes in the other corner. But my cards felt okay. They were bad to start with, but they felt okay at the end. Yeah, and and I clawed back uh, an eighty four, eighty three victory. Wow! To the point where we had to go back through and check all the scores again. What a game! Yeah, it was uh, considering I lost so much in the first couple of turns. Yeah, yeah. Sounds like you uh, really had to claw that one back. Yeah, it was, uh, that was for a Sunday morning. That was not the brain t- t- tax you wanted. Really. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and now it sounds a like a key um, match up for us with all that out of, out of line of sight. Yeah, yeah. All them Havoc launchers is not good for uh, Drukari because you're so... Especially when they push them forward because they, if it's close to the eligible target, they get an extra minus one. Yes, yeah. So uh, it's... You know, when they start to come forward, they start to give you real issues. Yeah, um, makes, it, makes it very good. Again, the Beast Pack did some work in that game, got them into the middle, and they sort of held up and allowed my Mandrax to survive the turn. And, move um, blocked a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so they, they did some work, and 
and I let him come into the middle so I could use the incubator without using the CP. Mm. Oh no, in fact, sorry, I did use the incubator with the CP to get out. It was the witches I didn't. Um, and it's, with having Lance, it means the witches are wounding. Actually useful. On I fives. Guess vehicles as well, yeah. Yeah. And so. you get, and if you're empowering them, they're getting their extra AP. That's yeah, so they're minus three. Cool. And Lilith is wounding them on fives, even though she's mm. like and the infantry two up. And with her volume of attacks and it being minus four, it's like they don't get safe. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's really nice. Um, that makes a massive difference. Mm. Yeah, because it actually makes like Lilith and the witches usually are only ever good into infantry, but actually yeah. you can now start, you know, doing some chip damage. And maybe even taking something out if you can get enough fives and sixes in there. So, real close game of the chaos, uh, night. So, last game, who was the last game? Last, last game was Custodies. Um, which you said to me before uh, the tournament, that was probably, you felt like it was probably the worst matchup for the Jakarta. Yeah, them and probably Chaos Knights, I would say. Yeah. Um, just because of the uh, well, with Chaos Knights is the volume of Havoc launchers. I mean, you can get yeah. what's plenty of 70 shots or something stupid at 66 shots or whatever it is out there. Havoc launchers have you rolled very, very well, yeah, yeah. Um, so the custodies, and I think Scary agrees with me, is uh, probably one of the hardest matchups. So, what what was the list for custodies? He had three units uh, of five wardens, yep, two sorry, no, two wardens, three units of five guard. Guard to the Gladius tanks. Yeah. Um, Trajan. Yeah. Two blade champions. Yeah. They probably went with the wardens so they could advance and charge. And now he had Tra Trajan with a unit of wardens, and he had oh. maybe one of the blade guards with one of the unit of wardens. But he had that uh, Inquisitor that does the uh, line of sight. More oh, wounds. Oh, I don't know what that one is. Uh, obviously, I'm fine on the list, I but think, um, I think it's the one that every it's the one it's Kyrax, the, it's the, it's the, Kyrax that's the one the one yeah. that everyone's using with them because he gets to fire twice in a turn oh, if you right. put him with wardens because of the he gets the warden oh, sorry if you put him with the guards he gets the guards ability all oh, right to shoot twice very nice um so again it was uh, search and destroy across the corners um the I was a bit worried about how much board control. He got tempting target first turn, and I made it the, one of the middle ones. It was Did you say objectives. it was four, yeah six objectives, yeah, four across. Um, so I made it the one closer to me out in the open. Uh, so he had to put something on it, which he did. Um, he put tro Trojan's unit on it, and yeah. he did a few wounds. Didn't do a massive amount of his uh, tanks first turn. Um, sort of moved his stuff up a bit, uh, but didn't really overcommit. Yeah. Um, and I saw a little opening. Uh, he had th uh, two units of uh, wardens, one either side and one guard with the Inquisitor in it. And I wanted yeah. to get rid of the Inquisitor because he does out, out of line of sight. I didn't want him ruining my scourge. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's only 18 inches, so he was moving him up and he was going to start causing me damage. So yeah, like, yeah. Right, well, I, need to, I need to stop that. So you need to get rid of him. I, yeah, so um, I've shot through the gap with Lilith's unit but uh, Trajan's obviously got heroic intervention so and he got the option to, opportunity to fight first yeah as part of his abilities uh, so I was a bit worried so I moved a unit of Rax up and charged Rax into him just to hold him so I could get uh, Lilith's unit into into her, the Inquisitor's unit yeah and then he one of the Blade Guard units then heroically intervened so I split the attacks did a lot of damage between to all of them yeah but didn't kill either unit though oh dear so then they killed the racks but he had to come back then to, with another unit to to take care of Lilith yeah which gave me some breathing space and allowed my shooting to pick a lot more of them up nice um, and I was scoring really well on points um, he, had a, he had a bad turn on cards really bad turn on cards and again it was just it was okay cards for me. They weren't too bad, but I had to work them. Yeah, well, I, th I feel like in that match... Well, in fact, I didn't think I had any easy ones. You know, sometimes you draw cards... And you yeah, you're like, oh, great. Um, yeah, I, I had that once in the whole weekend. But I feel like with Custodians and Drukhari, though, like, if you look at the two armies in terms of... 
it's a lot easier to have bad cards playing Custodes than it is Drukari because of the movement that um, Drukari have got and the fact that you've got generally got more units. Um, yeah, although you can control the primary. The primary is definitely uh, easier to control as, as a Custodes player, definitely. Because um, you can stand in the, out in the open, whereas you, you really can't. Yeah, <laughs> and also Chikari. because of the uh, fight first stratagem as well, being on yeah. the primary makes it... Uh, uh, People are scared to charge you, um, which makes it a lot easier to hold. Yeah, and they're not exactly easy to battle shock, are they? No, and they're and also they're not that easy to kill, especially if they pop a four up in one. Yeah, I mean, I was just having to chip a lot away because I was the only infantry I'm, weaponry I'm, we've got. He's got like no AP, mm -hmm. so <laughs> you know, well, yeah, he's got one AP with the, with the cannon. So it's two ups or three ups, and if they're in cover, it's two ups again. It's like mm. great. Um, so, so, what was so I did. I did thirteen. No, I did fifteen. Twelve, fifteen damage mm. um, on the one of the tanks with Haywire. Yeah, and and he saved thirteen of them on a four up. Oh, the four up uh, Fino Pain on more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He did. I was like, pardon. <laughs> mm. It's funny because obviously the Haywire were awful in that good matchup. He saved really well on them. That's a detachment rule. And I wonder when the other detachments come out. I mean, they're going to have to be pretty good for you to go, no, nah, I don't want to four up for an open against mortals and devs, you know? Yeah, I mean, because that saved that tank. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, the, the, they really... The, the, I mean, don't get me wrong, he rolled well over average with it, on, but on all the times they were shot before they died. Um, and, it, you know, I, in fact, Haywire didn't kill a tank mm. in the two rounds of shooting, which is, you know, against the vehicle was pretty... <laughs> I've yeah, heard yeah. of it, it's only got 14 wins. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, what was the score on that, that game? Um, so, I scored 91. I think he was 67. Oh, okay. So, a pretty convincing win in the end then. Yeah, I was actually I was a lot higher than I thought it was going to be. He drew, like I say, he had one turn of real bad cards mm. um, that he just couldn't score. Um, so, that, that worked out well for me. It just let me leap ahead a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So um, that's the only time the Reavers. Well, the Reavers got me tempting target on the, but they did uh, got engaged on that, and they took the last four wounds off of the uh, grav tank as well. Mm. So you ended up finishing twenty sixth overall. Yep. out of two hundred and sixty four players, or whatever it was. Um, so it was the biggest tournament of the weekend, and you won. Was it best in faction? Best of fashion, yeah, which I was very pleased about considering I'm, well, by the end of the tournament, played seven games with Sky Spinner Assault. So. Yeah, yeah. No, you've done really, really well. I, was, I think I can uh, do a bit better next time, hopefully, with a bit more practice and a little bit of list tweaking and stuff. And I, uh, It was a great tournament, actually, to be honest. I, th I thought uh, Zach had done really well with having a late, real last minute venue change. Yeah, because some something happened with the venue and they, they basically cancelled on him. They I pulled believe. out, yeah. So, so he'd he done really well with that. Um, you said you think? Did you, you said you preferred the venue, didn't you? Uh, the first day we were in multiple rooms, um, but the second day when we got in there, it was on the, just off the sixty M sixty in Manchester. It was parking. There was so much parking space. Yeah, which part they do? Um, they he did struggle with parking on the other one. Yeah, so there was, there was so much, so much parking. It was a much better venue. And uh, once we got the full sports hall, because we had to share the yeah, sports, which, the, which the main he, hall, <laughs> which he would have once. If he's doing we it, had it in we had it day two. Yeah, because um, obviously he probably just couldn't get it on day one, but in it, we, we'll book it out in advance next time and he'll have that next time. He? Yeah, I was much, so, I, I, so, I much preferred it. So staff overall, really nice, overall staff really nice, staff really good, oh, and okay. engaging at the actual, like you had Venue. sports and the staff asking us how we got on randomly and what, oh, what, really? what we were playing and stuff. And um, there was a few people that's there cool. that seemed to be really interested in, in, what, in what was going on. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Um, there wasn't the queues for toilets even, weirdly, I don't know why. It's rare you find randoms that are interested in Warhammer. <laughs> exactly, yeah, yeah. Um, and it, was really, it, it, was, it was a good tournament. It was a really good feeling tournament. I saw some amazing um, fair play and uh, sportsmanship from Manny. Yeah. Um, who let someone take something back even though he knew it'd let him, he'd lose the game. Oh, wow. Um, which was incredible, really. You know, yeah, yeah. Not a lot to see, to see that. And it was so free-handed. He said, no, take it back. You rushed your turn. You told me you were going to do homers. You do it. Yeah, yeah. So I thought that was quite good. good. Yeah. It was just a very, very nice nature tournament. Good, good. It's nice, you know, it's nice to see um, 
top players like Manny and stuff like that doing good sportsman um, ship things because I think that it um, it's how the game should be played. You know, we should all be wanting to go and have a good time. We're playing toy soldiers at the end of the day. And to, let's face it, there's not like loads of money on the line, is there? Like, no. let's just have a nice time and uh, and everyone enjoy ourselves because actually we're all paying quite a lot of money usually to go there. Not just the ticket prices, but sometimes hotels, hotels food, and food, everything else. Yeah, and taking a lot of time. That's out. probably the only thing I think um, from the uh, tournament was uh, the f- there was one food truck the first day, which was okay, but um, it was like basically churros kebab style things. But a lot of people complaining. I, mine was the same. Chicken was cold. Yeah. Um, second day, he had another kebab van there as well. They had a massive queue, <laughs> and the other one was empty. Right. So it felt like just uh, one, one van again. <laughs> yeah, it felt like one van, but the food on it was lovely. It was really nice. Yeah. The, the Juros things were really nice. So I just, just, just need to cut more vans then. Yeah, I, but I, whether that was because of the venue change, you couldn't guarantee him a, a spot maybe. until. Yeah, I don't maybe, know whether that was maybe. a thing. Yeah. Because the last year at Manchester, there wasn't a problem with food, was there? No, there weren't a lot for vegetarians or anything like that. Um, there was yeah. a, an alumi gyros on one of the stands, on, but there wasn't a great deal. Yeah. Not that I really care about vegetarians, to be fair, but no. <laughs> I, I'm definitely carnival. But um, the was there, because uh, obviously at the old place as well, you could go and get, there was a five guys near, there was other stuff near. Was there places near to eat? Um I didn't go off site, but I mean, I, I know the area. There is a, there's a couple of shops fairly nearby. Um, there's a garage uh, with a um, think some um, sandwiches, sandwiches and all that type of stuff. That, yeah. yeah, shop, but quite a decent shop next to it. Yeah. Um, and you're only five minutes from Traffic Centre, so you, the amount of time we had between games, uh, between the, on the lunch break, you could definitely drive to the Traffic Centre, like, and you haven't got to worry about parking again. Yeah, yeah. Um, and go to the f- and go to the food hall if, if you really want to. There's a McDonald's there and all that type of thing. Yeah, yeah. So. so um, so back to the list is there anything just to wrap it up is there anything that you would change from your list or are you contemplating you, I know at the beginning you said about taking off an enhancement so what what are you thinking yeah I mean it came up once in a practice game but in the whole entire weekend that enhancement didn't come in because I haven't got the, the characters to put it on to really utilise it I put it on the beast pack because I had to spare 10 points yeah yeah um and it, you know, it came in the practice game, so I thought, oh yeah, we'll just go with it. You know, no point not taking, yeah, not, not taking it. Not, there's no point um, ten points down. If you were hitting, put on a hard hit, if you had a spare archon, yeah, um, with a unit incubi, it'd probably cover a lot more. Yeah, you're yeah. probably going to take that unit off an objective with 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 a unit of incubi. Mm-hmm. Um, but having the no overwatch is far better. Yeah, yeah, um, it's brutal. Oh yes, yeah, it was definitely good. When, it, when I said he couldn't fire his incinerators, but my um, incubi with his paladin squad, he was upset, a little, a little bit peeved. Yeah, yeah, I bet. <laughs> so, uh, although I, he he did know that I had the enhancement, but yeah, he just yeah. forgot about it. And uh, so, I, by def- I, the Ravager wasn't a standout for me. Um, I rolled a lot of twos because I took the Ravager because of. It has an inbuilt reroll to one against stuff that's not work, um, that's at full health full or health, full yeah. wounds. Yeah, uh, and the amount of twos I rolled over the weekend was incredible. But is that just um, is that just bad luck? Yeah, right? maybe it was. I mean, I I, I did. Um, I, to be honest, my pain token economy wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, mm-hmm. even against custos and um, where things it, are hard to kill. It, it was at the beginning, the first. Probably the second turn, uh, and same against the knights. I didn't have any any tokens. Yeah. Um, but then by the end of the game, I had like I was throwing tokens around willy nilly because I was starting to pick up the units. Yeah. Um, you know, on the knights, fouls, battle shocks, and stuff. You know. It's, yeah, yeah. It wasn't as bad, and so I, st- I was starting to token it, and it became a bit more efficient. But I don't think I'm not sure a hundred percent whether I'll probably keep it in for the minute, mm-hmm. play it a bit more. Um, but that is one thing. That I'm possibly thinking of taking out, um, maybe put Talos in uh, with some more haywire, mm-hmm. and now you're getting the extra minus one, and it gives me a twin flamer with um, twin links flamer as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, and also you're getting the um, the extra combat. 
Yeah, true. which if you once you kill something with it, it's enhanced for the whole game. So you don't even got to worry about pain token. Yeah, yeah. And you get in minus three flat free damage combat weapon. Yeah. Um, which adds a little bit of something else. We're right, bring in and uh, strategic. Yeah, uh, and it's also pretty tanky. It's only seven wounds, but yeah, it's a three up save, six up in bump, five up, feel no, pain. Save. Five up feel no pain, five up feel no pain. Um, so I mean, I can't use the four up um, in bump straight on it, but um, having the, the twin link tail wire as well gives me a bit more anti tank. Um, so that's an option, but I'm not gonna pro probably not going to go there yet. No, no. Uh, my main my main one was probably um, the Reaver jet bikes. Yeah. I might drop the enhancement and put in another unit of Mandrakes. The Reaver Jet Bikes, they were okay. I mean, the only wound I got through the entire tournament with them was against the Grav Tank. Mm. Other than that, I either didn't hit or didn't wound. Yeah. So, but they're not really there they, for that, are they? No, nah, but they didn't put any output particularly. Um, they did get me tempted to target the game. But they're there to, to score points, be annoying, like move exactly. up. Exactly take something off someone to deny, deny primary or something like that because they are 6 OC aren't they the free bikes yeah so, 6 OC and so they move you can take, 14 you can just move up and take like if something's got 5 OC which quite a lot of units have just take an objective off off them um, stuff like that so a primary denial that sort of thing they're pretty good for that um, yeah but I thought well, Mandrake's 5 OC don't get me wrong they're, Mandrake they're out, their output is better uh, the picking up and combat. putting down is very good as well I mean they're strength 5 I mean, they're, they're zero right? AP, um, but they're strength five. You get in, uh, I think it's fifteen attacks, mm. um, hit on freeze. If you if you uh, enhance, uh, empower them, um, they're minus one, one damage. Um, yeah, and I think that uh, you know gives you a lot more damage output in a close combat. And in shooting, the two two shots, twenty four inch. It's assault. Um, no AP, one damage, but it's death wounds. Yeah. So I've I've found I can pick up two or three wounds on a night. Mm -hmm. You know, just and it's, took a night down, and and I can pick them up and put them down, so they can they can move clear across the board. Pick yeah, up yeah. Points, and it gives me a little bit extra pressure on the objectives early early doors, so I can afford to lose a, a unit of Madrex. Yeah. And still have two to, to pick up and put down. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. I do think the. Uh, I, I think both has merits, but I think maybe the Mandrakes would be a little bit better, a little bit more uh, playing them. Um, yeah, they've got a bit more versatility. Also you've got, it's not like you've got a lot of stuff that moves quick. You've got Venoms, you've got Raiders, you've got Incubi. I mean, the Venoms them. were the Venoms were brilliant. Um, been out of deep strike them and stuff and uh, mm -hmm. drop them in, um, you know, even on the corners of the board, you know. Unit Cabalites in. It doesn't matter if they, they get a shot because you've still got a unit Cabalites unless they can charge you. Yeah, they're like, going to After out. the shooting phase, you, 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 you've got them on, ready for your next command phase to do it. Engage or deploy. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. No, definitely. Um, and yeah, they're annoying. They, you know, they are minus one to hit. They're annoying to get rid of um, the Venoms. Like, not that they're the, that hard to get rid of, but it's still annoying. You're like, you've still got to put some fairly good firepower in, into them. And you're getting your unit out every turn. Um, pretty much, unless someone can overwatch them, um, just and so then purely back in. and getting them back in in the sh uh, sh uh, so they're getting the sustained, so they're getting sustained hits. No, it's uh, ignores cover. I ignores cover. That's it. Which against uh, Splinter mm -hmm. is for like guardsmen. For, you know, people with four yeah, up saves yeah, yeah, it's really good. Um, makes them a lot more efficient. And yeah. it, even against your custodies, and, but you know, um, also not custodies. They're, Less than a three, but yeah, all you have is uh, on the splinter cannons when you take marines up to a four, uh, four and they're going back down to three with cover. Yeah, it, it's making a big difference, extra 16% more, more going through. Yeah, definitely. So they give you that ability to chuck them out and pick them back up. Yeah, yeah. and it's it, it, even on the objectives, it was, it was good to um, chuck them out, get it through to my command phase, leave them out to shoot, pick them back up in it. Combat phase, yeah. Sticky the objectives. Oh, nice. Sticky objectives are good. Yeah, you have to sticky objectives whilst you transports as well, so you don't even have to take them out. Um, was good, and then sit there with a lurking incubi unit, so people didn't want to hit the objective. Yeah, I bet because you know you're going to get smashed when you go and take it. 
But it's uh, well done, mate. You've done really well. Um, well done for winning Best in Faction. And obviously coming 26th is really, really good um, in in such a, a high-level uh, competition, Super Major. Yeah, there's some was, great players there. Oh, yeah. I mean, you go through that list of players, you know. You've got a load of the Team England team there. You've got all most like of them were there. Ignite boys. You've got like it's just so many players that were just top top tier players. Um, so yeah, you've done really well. Um, so we'll leave it there. Um, thanks for coming on. And try and do it, try and do a bit better with a bit more practice. Yeah, and uh, hopefully we'll be having more of these conversations when uh, we hopefully both do um, well in tournaments coming up. Uh, I haven't actually I've got a couple to book that I need to book onto but I haven't got any yeah I've got Birmingham for, for Glass Hammers yeah yeah I need to I'm go. going to the LGT I don't think you are no I've got to go to a wedding unfortunately uh, and then we've got uh, I've got some other I want to do some RTT I've got the Lords of Wild uh, team BFS team. BFS are putting a team in you're, yeah. although you're not coming I'll let them go no no but yeah BFS are putting a team in for the Lords it's of Wild it's Lords of Wild and then I'm going to go to the Summer War as well I think Nice. In September. Well, I might come up for it. Who knows? Who knows? Um, so, thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. Um, and like I say, there should be more coming. So, thanks, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.